Sage. Hi, Danny. How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm good. Good. Welcome back, everybody. Um, we're Silence of the Hags. Yeah, welcome back. We're your hags. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> um, so this is our last detour of the season. Yes. Um, thanks so much for sticking with us through it. Um, yeah, so last detour, third last episode. We only have mm -hmm. two more after this. Mm -hmm. And then we're done with our first serial killer season. Wahoo! Um, I'm sure we'll talk about that more on our last episode. But so far, I hope you guys are liking it. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we have two more after this. So hope you continue to like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and for many seasons to come. Yes, oh my goodness. We have Oh, can we can we um can we reveal what our next season yeah, is? Yeah, I think it's about time. Okay, what is it, Danny? <laughs> tell us. Cults. Cults. Ah. Okay. All about cults. All about cults. Cults, cults, cults. Um I'm excited for this one. I think this is going to be fun. It's going to yes. be a little spooky, a little creepy, but this one's going to be fun because I don't know, we can have the creepy like we can talk about Manson, we can talk about um, Shinrikyo, but we can also talk about like the you know like Scientology if we want. I don't know. It doesn't yeah. have to be all doom and gloom. I think it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. Yeah. Just wild and interesting. Um, I just find cults yes. fascinating. They're so crazy. They're so crazy. Yeah. Um, doesn't make sense to me. No. Don't join a cult. Don't. I like. Here's where I'm at. It does make sense to me, but it doesn't make sense. I guess we'll get kind of into it. Yeah. I get how you can be brought into a cult. Yeah. But I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it couldn't happen to me. But I feel like the people in the cults always are like, eh, it couldn't happen to me until right? suddenly you're a Manson girl and it is yeah, happening to true, you. I guess. Um, but anyways, we'll talk more about that later. I just wanted to get it out of the way because I'm so excited about it. Yeah. Um, let us know who you want to hear about. If there's yeah. a specific cult you're interested in. If there's a specific mm -hmm. cult you think is lame and you don't want to hear about, tell That's me. That's too damn bad. I was going to say, I probably <laughs> will do it anyways if I want to, but, like, it's good to know. Yes. <laughs> um, so, Danny. How, What's up? How about that? How about that Corona? Corona... Fuck the coronavirus. <laughs> Fuck the <man>. coronavirus. <laughs> God. Um, how about that vaccine? Oh, Ooh. yeah. Hell um, yeah, it's been approved in Canada. Yeah. I mean, it's been approved yeah. everywhere, but. I heard we're, here it we're is. starting to put it out next week, aren't we? People are. I don't know. I mean, I think like healthcare is, is starting to, to get their yes. vaccinations next week. Go, mom. Tell me how it goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Mom, let me know if it's good. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to, I mean, I know things aren't going to be, like, back to normal like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm excited for things to The start. light is at the end of the tunnel. Yes. Oh, <laughs> God, please. Yeah, yeah, fuck. No, I'm super stoked. Um, and bummed about this Christmas situation. Yeah. Um, if you haven't heard, do you live under a rock? No Christmas offense, <laughs> but Christmas is literally canceled. Um, you're not, a, yeah, you're, you're only allowed to hang out with the people in your immediate, in yep. your household. I know, I was talking to my grandma, and she's yeah. like, maybe we'll do, like, a drive-by Christmas. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? Oh, and she's like... You guys can, like, drive up, and I'll, like, give you a plate, and then you can go. I was oh, like, no. it's upsetting. <laughs> it's like, awful. Uh, I know. Whatever. And if, literally, if I have to work every day and have ten people I don't know in my bubble, and then also every single person who comes right. in, um, who gets close to me, even though they're still supposed to stay six feet apart, even if you're wearing a fucking mask. Yeah. Like, that's stupid. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing I just don't really understand is, like, kind yeah. of, like, the double standard. Oh, I was at a restaurant the other day, and I was mm -hmm. talking to our waiter, uh -huh. and he was saying that, so he, we're at a restaurant in New West, and he lives in Surrey, uh -huh. and he was saying the other night he was driving home from work, and there was yeah. a COVID roadblock. What? Like, so if you have somebody in your car who's not in your immediate circle, and you both aren't wearing masks, you can get fined $500. Uh, um, yeah. excuse me. Yeah. 
So, like, if you have somebody in your car who doesn't live with you, they were, like, finding people, like, on the spot. Like, it was, like, a literal, like... Okay, but... Like, drunk driving road pass. Like, the road was blocked entirely. And they were, like, checking people as they went through. Which is fine if that would, like... But that's not the standard. Right? I know. I when I said that, I was like, is that a thing? Also, again, if I'm working with people who are not Mm. in my bubble, how dare you? Like, you don't just get to pick and choose. That's stupid. He said that... Like, obviously, I have I don't know how it works. I've literally never heard of this. I was like, I've I didn't know it, that, that was a here. thing. I, I, um, I know it's a th- it was a thing in Europe, but... So he said that coworkers count as in your circle because he was driving his coworker home. Oh, awesome. I love that. So, like, yeah. my coworker who I don't even like counts, yeah. but my elderly grandma who lives alone doesn't. Yeah. That's really cool. That makes yeah. sense to me. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Ugh. It's fine. Hey, yeah, yeah. Um, <sighs> anywho, on to the detour. On to the detour. We detoured from the detour. Now we're detouring back, back to, to the, the detour. detour. Don't you worry. Oh Shit's about God. to get deadly. It is. <laughs> um, <laughs> shit's about to get <laughs> deadly. Um, this is actually going to be a really fun one, I think. Yeah. Yeah. We're taking um, you back circa 2009. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, so what are we doing, Danny? We're going to be taking some BuzzFeed questions. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so fun. So yes. originally we wanted to find those old school Facebook quizzes um, where you'd like, you know, take the quiz and then you could like share it and be like, yeah. mm, this is my soulmate. You know what? Um, I'm going to be honest. I just thought of this. I'm sure Facebook fucking owns some part of BuzzFeed. So oh, probably. Maybe these are Facebook quizzes. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's all <laughs> amalgamated into one by now. Yeah. <laughs> um but yeah i'm really excited i think this is gonna be a ton of fun um and you guys can follow along we're gonna tell you what the names of them all are so you know do it see what your results are we can see what our results are Mm -hmm. and we're gonna have a good time so my first one Mm -hmm. this is one for everyone one for all (laughs) this is can you identify this scary movie from its netflix description all right, let's do it. I have it. a feeling this is going to be either really easy or really hard. Yeah, I think it's going to be difficult. Yeah, because Netflix, your fucking descriptions are suck. terrible. They're so, so bad. Oh, this one's so easy. Oh, okay. <laughs> right God as damn I it. said it. Oh, what if I get it wrong? I'm going to be I so embarrassed. Like a group of teenage camp counselors raised the ire of Jason Voorhees. Oh, go fuck A masked <laughs> homicidal maniac in the remake of this classic slasher flick. I don't actually know the name. I, I know knew it. it is. <laughs> I was like, she's not going to get it fucking right. <laughs> it's um, uh, Friday the 13th. Yes. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Yay! Okay, it's not fair to put the name. <laughs> I in. know, right? When I when I read it, I was God like, Jason it. Voorhees, really? Come yes. on. Okay, well. Okay, this one might be a little harder. Okay. Based on true events, mm-hmm. this spine chiller tells the the story of sorry it's just a weird <laughs> english is this hard. spine chiller tells the story of a new england family who begins having encounters with spirits in their farmhouse i actually don't know this one. Oh, spirits um, in their farmhouse in new england new england is in america i think not in england is it is it um the conjuring no no it's not oh is it haunting connecticut it was The Conjuring. Sorry, it was? I have oh! To, I, have, I have to type them in. So oh, okay. It's The Conjuring. Yay! <laughs> it was The Conjuring. I was right. Wow. Oh, my God. Woohoo! Oh, I'm a fucking genius. God damn. Oh, my God. Sorry. This one's also so easy. Oh, okay. Stepping out of the pages of Charles Adams' cartoons and the 1960s television series, member of the beloved Mac... Oh, God. I'm going to butcher this name. Macrobe family? Take to the big screen. Macrobay family? M A I might be butchering the name. M A C A B R E. Oh, Macabre. Macabre? It's Macabre, yeah. Macabre family. Take to the big screen. Oh. You said it's so easy? So it was it was a TV series and before that it was what? Um, it was a book. You know this Charles one? Adams cartoon. I think I do. I want to say Beetlejuice, but it's not that. But that's the only thing I can think of. There's, oh, The Adams Family. 
Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to have to type all these in. It's not the Adam family. It's not what I thought it was. I thought oh. it was a field. Do you want to give up? Give me a hint. I don't have a hint. I don't know it until That's I guess fair. it right. <laughs> I can oh, only keep guessing or give oh, up. Oh, I see. Oh, it just waits <laughs> yeah, until... Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll look at it and then I'll... What? I wrote that in. It was the Adams family. Oh, yay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's who I thought it was, but I spelled Adams wrong. <laughs> How do you spell... Oh, did you do it with one M? I, no, I did it with um, with uh, an extra A. Idiot. I know, fool. <laughs> okay. It's also two Ds, apparently. Oh, really? Oh, actually, yeah, that sounds yeah, about right. Hoping to leave their haunted house behind... A suburban family moves to a new place, only to learn that the home wasn't haunted, but their eldest son is. Ooh, that's insidious. Yes, ma'am. Wow! Oh, my God. <laughs> my dad's going to be so proud. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. I think I know this one as well. Uh, five friends arrived at a secluded cabin with clear rules for their retreat. But when protocol is broken, punishment is swift and everyone will pay. Hmm. Hmm. Um. A secluded cabin. Well, I wanted to say cabin in the woods, but you're correct. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> well, I don't remember there being clear rules. At least not that they were aware of. That's I such think a just bad don't movie fuck with the cabin. I don't know. Yeah, right? Like, Netflix, get your shit together. Because that is so, like, that is not a good description of Cabin oh. in the Woods. This one is disgustingly easy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> BuzzFeed, this just as sucks. He's about to be married, Victor is sucked into the underworld oh, by a corpse bride cor- <laughs> who desires him for herself in his That's cheating! Tale. You can't right? put the name of the just. Dis- <laughs> Okay, well, Corpse Ride! Corpse Ride! Woo! Woo-hoo, we did it. Um, cool, this one's just blank, and it says guess. <laughs> There's no um, Oh, here we go. Okay, sorry, they just took a like, minute okay. to pop up. Um, cut off from the rest of the world, a tight knit family lives in constant fear of making any sound. Oh, a the quiet place. Very funny creatures. Yes! Yes! <laughs> All right. This is the second to last one. Okay. After the death of her mother, Annie and her family uncover their terrifying leg- legacy and grapple with malevolent, m- malevolent, malevolent. 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 forces beyond their control. Oh. I... It's a new one. I do know this one. I was like, I don't... It, it's not new. It's decently new. I don't it was huge. Think I... Box office hit. Fucked up. Not where you thought the movie was going to go. The little mom, girl the mom died nope mom the grandma died the grandma died the mom oh, 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 Tony oh, oh, oh fucking what is it god oh, i know what it is <laughs> it's called like heritage or something like that hereditary, hereditary there it is <laughs> heritage. Heritage. <laughs> oh okay well oh my god this one's also so easy damn it buzzfeed in this remake of the 1960s classic okay i'm gonna okay i'm gonna cut out the name okay do it okay marion crane stops at blank only to encounter a boy a boy a man with a lot of secrets to hide (laughs) (laughs) cute Um, mysterious i'm gonna give you a better with his mom preserved in his basement Psycho? Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, it was Marion Crane stops at the Bates Motel only to encounter oh. Norman Bates. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that, well. That was too easy. That is way too easy. Yeah. Thank you for making that a little more difficult. <laughs> With his mom, <laughs> who mom is preserved, preserved <laughs> in the basement. <laughs> I'm going to start writing Netflix movie descriptions. Yeah, That's actually honestly. what I want my next career to be. My next career. <laughs> you know what job one. I want? Mm. I want to name nail polishes. <laughs> Could you? Okay, so this one is called, Do You Have What It Takes to Survive? 
a zombie apocalypse. Ooh, mm -hmm. this is really putting us to the test because we yeah. asked this question personally in our Halloween episode. So. Oh, we did. Yeah. Okay. Um, Were I we wonder. Overconfident. I was or... gonna say I thought I would not survive. I think I was honest, and you I said you I would. would. Yes. Yeah. I okay. Think. I, I, I. Now that the quiz is here, I don't think I would. I'm taking it all back. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of big talk when there's no cool whiz going okay, on. Okay, no, but I do think I would, but let's see what BuzzFeed says. Okay. Because, you know, BuzzFeed is the... The, the authority. On, the almighty. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, would you travel alone, yes or no? <laughs> yes. Yes? That's I would. That's ballsy. Um, that's how many people would you have on your survival team? Four, five, six, seven, nine, ten or more. That's kind of... You said you, would, I was I was gonna say, you said like you would two. travel alone, but... Like, two was the max. Sorry, Frankie, get out! <laughs> Damn it, Frankie! Um, okay, pick a weapon. Shotgun, sword, chainsaw, or bow and arrow? Bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. That's a good I choice. took some archery at camp. I didn't, but I would choose that, too. Could never hit the fucking target, but... You've made a poor decision. <laughs> I was eight, so you okay. know what? I think I've got <laughs> years on my aim. Yeah, I guess. Have I practiced? Absolutely no. not. Um, all right. Would you sacrifice someone else in order to live? Absolutely. No, you wouldn't. I absolutely would. I don't believe If you. it was like you, no. True. If it was like a stranger, I'm really good at not having an emotional connection. Honestly, things, that's so fair. me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, hot takes with Danny. All right. So, yes, you would. Um, mm -hmm. Will you have a base camp? Yes or no, you will be nomadic. Ooh. Hmm. I want to say no. I would agree with that. I don't think it's a good idea, yet too comfortable. That's fair. Um, so I think this is the last question. Okay. Um, pick an abandoned building to be your hideout. Local mall, hospital, a house, or a gas station. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I want to say a gas station. Okay. I'm going to... Why? Ah! Okay, because <laughs> would I not survive? <laughs> no! Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> it says you won't survive oh. the apocalypse because you're too kind-hearted and soft for such a cruel world. I what? said I would kill I someone. Know. <laughs> it's got okay. it's the bow and arrow. It says I guess mm. my bow and arrow. It's too yeah. femme of me. Yeah. Okay, but f real talk. I do want to hear about the gas. Why station. I would choose a gas station? Yeah. This is my like real life thought process as yeah. well. With okay. Living in a house. Um. I don't. It depends on the house. I don't like houses where I don't... I don't like my house because... So I have a front door and I have a sliding door. Mm -hmm. My front door leads into my living room slash mm -hmm. entryway. And my sliding door is also in my living room. Kay. So my thought is, is if anybody gets into my house, I have no way out That's other true. than coming back to the living room. I don't like that. That's fair. So houses, I need to have an exit on both sides. That's fair. Also, I don't like if I can't hear people coming in. Hospital, too big. Also, everyone's going to go to a hospital. What was the other one? A school? Um, a local mall. Same thing as the hospital. Everyone's going to go there. All the right. gas station is small. That's There's a front fair. door and a back door. Period. That's fair. I got so that. I, I, I respect station. that. Thank you. Um, yeah. All right. Your turn, girly. My turn. Okay. Now that we know that you would not, in fact, survive. Damn it. <laughs> I'm miffed. Yeah. Ugh. Do you I wouldn't know what a cold-hearted bitch I am. Yeah, apparently not. <clears throat> Miss okay. sobbing at the end of Coco. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Do they right. not know how hard I am? <laughs> <laughs> Which Twilight character <laughs> would be your soulmate? I can't wait. Oh my god, just you wait. All right, Ugh. pick a color: green, blue, yellow, or gold. Sorry, those are together. Or black or burgundy. Yellow or gold like the color of Edward's eyes. All right. <laughs> team Edward or Team Jacob. Team Edward. Or Team No One or Team I Don't Care. <laughs> team Edward. Pick Edward is my boo. My okay. Oh My by Camila Cabello. Something by The Beatles. Edward's Lullaby or We Will Rock You by Queen. Edward's Lullaby. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to work these tests to get the answers I want, okay? Pick your favorite Disney character. Pegasus. Mm. Mushu, Stitch, or Pascal. <gasps> wow, oh no, that's really hard. Those are all really cute They ones. are. Also really great sidekicks in all those movies. Because I really want to say Stitch, but also Mushu's really funny. But yeah, also Pascal like is so cute. Pascal's cute. I feel like Mushu and I could like kick it though. Yeah, like, right? Hang out Mushu be would be funny as fuck. Yeah. 
But Mushu, Stitch. you peg me as like a stoner. Yeah, um, right? I feel like you guys would have some good high talks. Yes. <laughs> I have to pick Stitch though. Because he is he's, pretty cute. He's it, the, best. the photo is him is him boy. in his pajamas also. So it was yeah. a good choice. Because Stitch I feel like would go on such great adventures with me, but then would also cuddle with me at night. So I'm gonna have to go with Stitch. <laughs> okay. So pick a character. Jasper, Charlie, Bella, or Renesme. Renesme has a stupid fucking word. Oh no, sorry, sorry, it was it was Jasper, Charlie, Bella, or Renesme. Yeah, Charlie's pretty funny. I pick Charlie. I love Charlie. He's pretty funny. I Edward. I wouldn't Oh my god. This is so unexpected. How could this (laughs) I guess I'll go put on my wedding dress, it's fine. Which horror movie trope would you trope. Are, trope? Well, reveal which horror movie trope <laughs> you are by answering these random questions. Hell yeah! Oh. Are you ready for some random questions? I'm ready for some random questions. Pick a candy: Snickers, wow. M and M, Twizzlers, or Reese's peanut butter cups. Reese's peanut Reese's? butter. Yeah, Reese's. I have a friend who calls them Reese's. I hate it. Uh, my sister calls them Reese's. Oh my god! The Nova. first time he said it, I was like, "What are you talking about?" He's like, "Reese's." I was like, what the fuck are Reese's? What are Reese's? And he was like, <laughs> no Reese's. Butter. And I was like, Reese's? What? Sir. Have you never seen the name Reese? Yeah, it's not. <laughs> yeah, no. Not Nova Reese's. always like, because sometimes oh I'll take God. her and Asia out to get treats. And she's like, I guess I'll get Reese's. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> you're really cute. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you're cute, so I'll allow it. But Danny says no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I already know your answer to this, but pick a horror movie. Paranormal Activity, mm-hmm. It, Get Out, or Midsummer. Okay, what do you think my answer is? I think it's between the last two. Leaning more towards Midsummer. Yeah, I'm going to say not It, no. not Paranormal Activity, and then it was Midsummer, and what was the? Get Out. Get Out. I didn't love Get Out. Didn't love it, so Midsummer. midsummer. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you know me. Pick a no. Oh my god, sorry. I also have to tell you a story about this after. Pick a non-scary Halloween movie. Hocus Pocus, The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Great Pumpkin. It's The Great Pumpkin, <gasps> Charlie, Charlie Brown. Brown, and Hotel Transylvania. Oh, those are all good, but Nightmare Before Christmas, not even not even a competition, honestly. Um, so my quick sidebar yeah. is I don't really like that movie. and I Midsummer? Been, no, no, no. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Ah! Um, but I've been watching it. And Nico's been watching it. And, like, I've been watching it because I thought it was, like, his favorite movie. And I was like, well, I'm going to pick a movie that he likes sometimes. <laughs> and he's been doing the same thing. Like, he also thought it was, like, a favorite movie of mine. So that's why he always is like, yeah, okay, we can watch it. Oh, so my like, God. But neither of you actually like it? Li- for nine years. I just found this out, like, a week ago that neither of us liked the fucking movie. But we've both been watching it because I thought it was his favorite movie and he thought it was mine. That's really funny. For nine years. That's really funny. But also, this is the last episode of the podcast, yeah. everybody. Danny and I are getting divorced because <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> Nico and I will never have to watch this movie again. (laughs) Yeah, Jesus. Pick a theme for your Halloween costume. Something clever, like Jim from The Office. Something sexy. The couple's costume. Or something traditional, like a zombie or a witch. I like couples costumes. I think they're so cute. A couples costume. Okay. It doesn't. Well, it doesn't have to be with my boyfriend. It can be like Wayne and yeah. Garth. I think yeah. they're so cute. <laughs> it can be us. Okay, so couples. Pick a terrifying monster: clowns, zombies, werewolves, or vampires. Zombies. Zooms. Zooms. Finally, pick a Halloween symbol: a witch's hat, bats, graveyards, or spidey webs. <gasps> Oh, bats. Bats, bats, bats. Yes, bats, bats, bats. <laughs> uh, you got the character who makes it to the end. <gasps> oh, my God. Uh, oh, yes, I'm a freaking winner. I don't even remember what I was trying to do. At the end of a horror movie, right? Survive? No. Yes. Yes, okay. That's yeah, me. The character who ma- well, I mean, it doesn't I say you I'm survive. It just says you make it to the end. Oh, so I might die. What does that mean? Is this going to be a Halloween? I know what you did last summer kind of vibe? I guess so. <laughs> God, I hope not. I really did the work to survive, so. Either way, I'm a winner. Plan your perfect Halloween. Uh, oh, sorry. It says, are you a ghost, skeleton, vampire, or zombie? I think you have to plan your perfect Halloween. Okay. Yeah. So. I hope I'm a ghost. That's, yeah, that's fair. I want to be a vampire so I can be with my soulmate, Edward. So. Um. (laughs) Ask me the fucking questions. Okay. (laughs) 
Jesus. Um, all right, girl, what time are you waking up? We got 10 a.m., we got 8 a.m., we got 12 p.m., and we got 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Jesus. <laughs> is 6 a.m. on there, or possibly 3 a.m.? Um, no. So this is for your perfect Halloween, just by the way. Oh, my! Oh, I mean, I wake up at 6 a.m. naturally now, anyway. So, so 7 a.m. is 7 a.m. It's a nice sleeping. <laughs> um, what snack will you be preparing? You got spider smoothies. Some cheese and crackers should do the trick. Just some drinks or homemade monster cookies. Ooh, homemade monster cookies. Good choice. Um, it says, choose an activity for the night. Playing a board game, dressing up in costume, bobbing for apples, baby, or watching a spooky movie. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I guess a movie. A movie, yeah. I was going to say, I did play games on Halloween this year since we couldn't go out. That's fair. Yeah. Um, okay. So, choose a Halloween-themed candy. We got Twix, Sour Worms, M&M's, or anything salty. <laughs> anything salty? Dick? Um, <laughs> anything salty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Honestly, fair. Um, <laughs> Mom, sorry, Mom. Take it sorry, back. Dad. <laughs> sorry, Steve. I don't mean it. <laughs> She does. <laughs> um, all right, it says your day is awesome. Um, how do you sure feel? <laughs> how do you feel before bed? Sad that Halloween is over. Excited for the next year. Tired or content? <laughs> Tired. Tired. Yes. Tired right. out. Um. So. Based on your perfect Halloween, you are a skeleton! Ooh, okay. <laughs> it says you're, ju- you're a bit of a daredevil and love to just go wild. I'm sure not. Yeah, you've been through so much <laughs> in your life and it all made you stronger. That's I true. sure have. People-, <laughs> <laughs> People look up to you because you're a warrior. Stay oh, they strong. do! <laughs> they actually do i can't help myself i'm always looking down on people they really looking up to me they really called you out (laughs) just by knowing what your halloween would be like (laughs) so i'm impressed yeah good one buzzfeed thanks buzzfeed all right are you ready i'm ready this is another soulmate one oh yes i love soulmates so which non-scary halloween movie character is your soulmate still edward (laughs) (laughs) pick a party snack essential popcorn chips chocolate Fruit, pretzels, and cookies. Or cookies. Oh, that's so many options. I know. Chips. 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 That is an essential. Right. Choose a positive quality in a partner. <gasps> wow. Silly, okay. smart, calm, or passionate. Ooh, passionate. I oh, I hate <laughs> you. <sighs> Pick mm. a classic Halloween movie character. Book from Hocus Pocus. Zero from the Nightmare Before Christmas, the Pumpkin from Halloween <laughs> Town, <laughs> okay, or the Thing from the Adams Family. <clears throat> is the pumpkin a character? Is that really? I was gonna say, I think it's just a literal pumpkin, isn't it? Maybe I don't know. The photos aren't loading. Useless. Mmm. I choose zero. I knew you would. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Pick a spontaneous activity to burst into for no reason. <gasps> I love bursting. Singing. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Rated R. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just keeping it real from our listeners. Okay. <laughs> Well, hopefully you won't be doing any of these. Well, well, maybe one of them when you're bursting. Um, Singing, dancing, laughing, or yelling. (laughs) Which one will it be? Oh, if you know me, I do burst. Are you a yeller? Into (laughs) song. I'm a giggler. (laughs) You're a singer? Yeah. That's what you Okay. Um, <laughs> which Halloweeny dessert speaks to you the most? Mummy macarons, mummy brownies, pumpkin spice martini, 
or chocolate Gross. spider cookies. They're pretty cute. Chocolate spider cookies. Those are pretty cute. I believe it. Choose a chore you'd rather have your partner do. Loading slash unloading the dishwasher, preparing meals, vacuuming, or taking out the garbage. Taking out the garbage. <laughs> I just feel like there's other things that are more work, so probably cooking. Please cook. Really? Me. Yeah. I mean, I like to cook, but I'm lazy. I hate taking out the garbage. See, I don't... I don't know why. It's like the bane of my existence. I don't know I also, why I love doing dishes. I hate putting dishes away. See, we don't have a dishwasher, I so I wash all my dishes, dishes by hand. That but sucks. I fucking hate. I'm fine washing them all, but I hate putting them away. See, I don't I know why. See, I don't mind doing the dishwasher. Pick something to do as a Halloween activity. Okay. Watching spooky movies, carving pumpkins, dressing up in costume, and dancing to some Halloween jams. Yeah, dressing up in costume and dancing to... Oh, wait, now are those no, two different one ones? one or the other. Dancing to Halloween jams. Nice. Thank you. Okay, pick a spooky place. Ooh. A swamp? A haunted house, a graveyard, or a bridge? <laughs> Are bridges haunted? Are uh, they spooky? Yeah, that Patella bridge. Pretty fucking scary. That is pretty spooky. Um, I choose a haunted house. A haunted house. Mm -hmm. You got Gomez. Oh my god. Okay. Gomez Adams. Talk about bursting. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, that's enough out of you. Oh Jeez. my god. I'm sorry, my husband is Gomez. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Morticia? She's, I think, practically always bursting. Can I choose Morticia instead of Gomez? Yes, in fact, please. I, I would love to change. Trade him for her, please. Thank yes. you. Well, that worked out well for me, I think. Yes. <clears throat> All right. All right. What do so, we next? would you survive a serial killer movie? Well, after the zombie apocalypse, I'm going to go ahead and say no. I'm not confident <laughs> this time. <laughs> you know, maybe too confident bringing this, hum this humble energy in is going to be helpful to you. Yes, I think so. All right. So where are you? Your parents' lake house, the woods, somewhere haunted, or my friend's house? Uh, my friend's house. Okay. You hear noise outside. What do you do? Split up. Stay put. Hide. I hate solicitors. <laughs> or, <laughs> or search the property. Stay put. All right, well. Um, the power mysteriously goes out. What's your move? Grab a weapon, tell everyone to stay calm, scream, or use your iPhone flashlight. Use my iPhone flashlight. <laughs> that seems reasonable. <laughs> um, someone my in power your... goes out every time I grab a knife. Yeah. And he goes like, what the fuck? Like, I don't know what to tell you. It's the I middle am of the day the power movie. went out. <laughs> Um, I'm prepared. <laughs> says someone in your group goes missing. Um, we have to find them. They'll come back. My level of care depends on who it is. Or, bye. My level of care depends on who it is. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> um, you wake. If up I don't know you, I might just assume you just wandered off. That's fair. Also, if Not I have to choose between some rando and saving like my friend. Oh, you're gonna save my friend. I'm not yeah, gonna lie true. to you. Sorry, y'all. Also, buddy system. If your buddy yes, lost true. you, that's your buddy's fucking problem. Yeah, that's not I'm my not problem. I'm not your buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you should have fucking kept track of your buddy then. Um, you wake up and find yourself locked in a room. What's your first instinct? Fuck. What the hell? Help me. Get me out. Fuck. Yeah, know. that's fair. Fuck. I don't know. Um, and what's your role in the friend group? Are you comedic relief? The loud one? The smart one? The sporty one? The dits? The parent? Or the outsider? Oh, I already... I want to say I'm the, the fun one or the smart one, but I know I'm the fucking parent. Yeah, I think you're the parent, too. Damn it. <laughs> I think I'm probably the dits. <laughs> I had to pick. Um, did you call 911? Uh, the phone lines are out. Yes, and they died on the way over. What? Nine one oh nine one one died on the way over. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> All of nine one one. All of nine one one. Um, oh shoot. Good call. Or the authorities are useless in these situations. The authorities are useless in these situations. It's honestly truth to you. Ugh. Um, why does the killer want you dead? You wronged them. Uh for fun. 
because you're there or who said there's only one killer oh shit um i'm gonna go with i wronged them that's fair you're a pretty shitty person i know <laughs> damn it um okay last question um what were you doing before all of this anyway hanging out watching a horror movie reading playing a game nothing really saying it was a bad idea to be here uh, probably nothing really <laughs> yes fair <laughs> Um, oh my god, Danny. Am I living? You survived! Uh, yes, I lived I with the so... values of Lori Strode. You did. It says, well, hello, <laughs> final person. Thank you, Lori, for wow, helping for us survive these. instilling these values yeah. in me. <laughs> Name a stronger female role model. Yes, You literally. can't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's, uh, is this quote from a child or a serial killer? Nice. Uh, the answer is harder than you think. Oh, okay. Yes. So, our first one. I promise I won't ever chew on your bones. I promise. A child. A child? <laughs> I think so, too. You're correct! <laughs> it's um, just too fucking weird not to be a child. Yeah, so according to a Redditor, it was a three-year-old who was generally a happy-go-lucky kid who was cuddling with his mom who said this. Um, so, this one, I love you so much that I want to cut your head off and carry it around with me so I can see your face whenever I want. That sounds like, like, Ed Kemper or some shit like that. Yeah. So we're going serial killer? Oh, I don't know, but that also sounds like a child just being like, Mom, I really love you. I think it's a serial killer. I feel like it's too sophisticated. Yeah. I want to cut your head off and carry it around with me. Yeah. Oh, it was a kid! Oh my god! (laughs) Apparently talking to his dad. Yeah. Jesus. It's like a child who doesn't know how to express his love. That's okay. You were right. The next one is, I like children. They are tasty. I think that has to be a kid. I'm gonna go with that's a serial killer. I don't know. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Bitch, you were right. Oh, you want to know who it was? Was it like Dahmer or something? It was like an Albert Fish. Oh, <laughs> oh. Albert. The, the man who made lump, uh, lamps out of human skin and inspired pretty much every horror movie. Horror, horror movie. Horror, horror, horror. horror Ever. Uh, so, yeah, Danny, you were right. Woohoo. This one is I Want to Peel Your Skin Off. Uh. <laughs> serial killer i hope yeah <laughs> all right Ooh. no it was a kid oh my god according Why? to a redditor psalm underscore 69 nice um his daughter woke him up at 6 a.m and said this why well the sunburn on his face was starting to peel oh <laughs> so it's too. less creepy <laughs> um okay so this one is believe me if i started murdering people there'd be none of you left I think it has to be a kid. No, I think no, that's I'm maybe gonna go serial, serial killer. killer. Yeah. I feel like I read that quote. I feel like that's somebody oh. we already did. That sounds like that sounds like um, an in in court. I yeah. wouldn't kill anyone. Yeah. Who oh, is it? Charles Manson. Yeah, I was gonna say because I think yeah. we, I think that was one of the oh when I was looking for serial killer quotes a while ago that was one of the ones I came across. Mm, yeah, yeah. Because he was saying classic. that he was saying that he he didn't kill anybody. That it wasn't, because, you know, he yeah. like, was like, it wasn't me, it was them. He, he was saying didn't. he didn't kill anybody, and if he did, everybody would be dead in oh, the world. Oh, shut the fuck yeah. up, Charlie. Yeah. Um, okay. This one is, I'm imagining the waves of blood rushing over me. Sounds like this person is about to burst. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I don't want to say it's a child. <laughs> um, I think it's a serial killer, maybe. I think you're better at this than me, though. I think it's a child. I don't know. You think so? Kids are wild. All right. See, you're right! <laughs> oh, my God. Um, so, according to a Redditor, his niece said this with a blank look on her face. Um, that's... You should Weird. probably get that kid some help. Yeah, get that kid yeah. checked out, please. This one says, my brain is telling me to do things I don't want to do. Mm. <laughs> It could go either way. I yeah, think this was a kid. That's so vague. Yeah. I'm going to go with a serial killer. Yeah. Nope, it was a kid. <sighs> it says, according to a Redditor, a four-year-old said this after talking with his imaginary friend. 
I don't know. I don't know how I feel about emotions. that. Right? I don't know, I don't know about <laughs> that one. It was, uh, oh. <laughs> um, okay, it says, death comes with the territory. See you in Disneyland. That is a fucking serial killer. Yeah? That is, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I, yeah, I'm, 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 I, I feel like I know who it is. Yes. You do know killer. who it is. So you're yeah. correct. Um, so Richard Ramirez. Yes. I was going to say it was somebody who like wanted to fucking go to Disneyland and they kept talking about it in their trial. Well, it said he famously said this after receiving 19 life sentences. Fucker. Like he's not, you're not going Piece of shit. You're not going to Disney, buddy. Um, okay. So tell her to be my girlfriend or she'll never see her parents again. Uh, kid. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) After asking a seven-year-old, what's the best way to get a girlfriend? Um, Some some seven-year-old said this. Fair enough, kid. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Okay. A clown can get away with murder. I know who this is. Yeah, that's that's fucking Gacy, isn't it? Yep, sure is. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Um, when you die, I want to put you in a glass jar so I can keep you and see you forever. A kid. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, apparently a five-year-old. And then apparently a six-year-old said back, that's stupid. Where are you going to find a jar that big? <laughs> 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 you okay. ain't wrong. Yeah, I guess. Um, all right. So that's it. We got eight out of 11. <clears throat> so 73%. Nice. Yeah, not bad. Uh, all right. Oh, children. Fucking Jesus, that was good. Um, <clears throat> so that has been BuzzFeed Quizzes. Um, this is, like, a very long episode. Um, yeah, so that's, I think that's it, everybody. Wahoo. Wahoo, thanks so much for tuning in. Oh, 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 oh! Ah, plug! Follow us, <laughs> please. Please. Um, we are Silence of the Hags on Instagram. Um, silence of the Hags at gmail.com. We're on YouTube, Silence of the Hags. Um, what, what, where's our podcast available? Besides Pocket Cast. Yes. Not you, y- YouTube. Yes, YouTube. Uh, <laughs> Apple Podcast. Yes. <laughs> Spotify. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anchor. Mm-hmm. Overcast. Mm-hmm. I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's I mean, there's right. probably more, but, you know. You know what? Those are the main Apple, ones. Spotify, and YouTube. Um, and Google yeah. Podcasts as well. Also, oh, actually. I didn't yeah. know that. I saw that on Anchor. That's <laughs> Thanks, Anchor, for telling Thanks. us where we are, because we sure don't know. I mean, not really even telling us, just kind of doing it. Doing it for and us. I'll come see it later. Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right, thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day. We'll yes. talk to you on Monday. Wahoo. Wahoo. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.